instead of the, does it have top or live or no? Does that have what? Yeah, you know, sometimes it'll say. Um, hey, make us here. Hey, Mick. Hey, Mick, how's it going? We're getting things all set up. Hey, I'll let you do that. Okay. What's up, Mick? How's your day been? Let me see if I can find where this is. Hello, Catherine. And Garage Geek. He's ready to set it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> There's Trish. What's up? Hello, Trish. Oh, wait. Do I hit here? What are you trying to do? Uh -huh. oh, we're figuring it out. <laughs> Just use this one in case there's something you want to moderate or something. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Get some water. I'm going to take this over here. Give me a second. All of our computer distances are <laughs> not right for either of the lenses in my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I may need a third one. <laughs> you may need a third pair of glasses? Or a third lens. Or a fourth. I don't know. <laughs> I guess to hit that camera so I can get it set up. That is... Live chat. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right. Bear with us. Yeah, I just stumble through things and then expect they'll all work. How did you do that before? What, the avatar? Yeah. Uh, you go out of a uh, cam right there. Oh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a little taller than I am. Yeah. It is art <laughs> Film it quality. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get some else set to all that. Okay. My technician is hard at work. <laughs> Thank you guys for showing up. And early, no less. Let's see if I can get some purpose on. He's figuring it out. Yeah, yeah you always figure it out. There we go. <laughs> 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 so guys since you guys are the first ones here let me know think of think of all the people that you've met in the vc and i know some of you have only been here a short while and like trish how many years have you been doing vc stuff there's a sleeve stack behind you <laughs> hey it's garner how are you yeah, from the other room, Dave said, Garner, what? <laughs> what's up? Oh, Glad man. to see you. We've what? missed you. Right here. <laughs> Miss you so much, man. So, um, and that's the topic of today. And um, I'm hoping some folks will jump up on screen with me. The topic is, through all the time you've been in the VC, who do you miss? Who just kind of fell by the wayside? There's the happy hippie. What's up? Glad to have you here. I'm hoping this won't be too crazy because, I mean, obviously, I don't. I'm just fumbling my way through. This is for Garner right here. <laughs> he says he's doing good. Hey, Dave. Rock on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Garner. I will. Now, hang on a minute. Let me figure out how to. How do you? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm figuring it out. I feel like I have to learn this all from scratch every single time we do this. Every time. But it's probably because we don't do this very often. It. There we go. I find. Um, we're trying to. We're trying to get a real filmic. <laughs> like, look at that shot right there. Hold on. Look at. Look ahead. <laughs> look at that. Real nice. Look at that frame. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 
I find being on camera really nerve wracking anyway. And I think most people do when they first start doing this mess, but I never think it's comfortable whatsoever. If it's always can, the most awkward thing in the world. If only we can put this in uh, 24 frames a second on film. In black and white? In black and white. With a red balloon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or red shoes. <laughs> yes. It'd be awesome. Yeah. So, Garner, would you like to get up here on the screen with me? You know, Sepia, he said. There's CPA Dave, time. the pickup artist. What's up? Yeah, we need to do CPA. He time. misses the wax. Well, there'll be none of that because none of us makes the miss the wax, so none of that talk. <laughs> Garage geek. Oh, that was really nice. Way to go, Trish. Give it a shout out. Sure, post the link. Oh my goodness. Okay, right on. But it didn't say who it's for, though. Huh? So, so this is for Garner. So Stand for Garner. by. Hang on a minute. Let me figure it out. Where's the link thing? The link is over. Uh, I don't know. Eh? Invite. Okay. You got to copy it. Yeah. Oh, I could have just you hit the just copy. copy. <laughs> I'm so. Oh, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Sadness. Stumbling through it, like I said. All right, his first link is for Garner. Yeah. And thank you, because it doesn't leave me up here by myself for too terrible. Long. <laughs> <laughs> and you're one that we miss. Look at my hands. <laughs> Stylish. Look at that. <laughs> hands of a painter. Get you a chair. Come on in here. Come right here. I mean, come in. All right. He's just going to hover. Dude, really, that's a that's a really nice frame right there. I like it. <laughs> the Jaws model I made, Dave, over there. How about that handmade stuff? Huh? <laughs> he uh, he said that looked like a slee stack. But no, a slee stack would be it's really David cool Kronenberg, though. Uh, from Nightbreed. I have to accept him. Well, he's not in the thingy yet. He's not in the green room or whatever you call that quite yet. Yeah, he's not in the thing of a thing. I'm looking to see if I've missed something, but I don't think I have. Not yet. Couldn't see the face. Yeah. Hang on a second. Let me move my big head. There you go. <laughs> he's creepy. There's Thump Finger. What's hey, up? There we go. What's up with you? <laughs> I love your avatar. Oh, yeah, that avatar is the best. <laughs> so maybe he'll jump in there. So anyway, in the comments, if you could think of somebody who you would love to see. That's a great question for Ben. Pulled out of the shadows. Who would you invite? And uh, I mean, I've I've been running around like a nut just saying, hey, haven't seen you in about five years. <laughs> Come on over. But um, there, he, hold on. there he is. There he is. There he is. I, I kind of think. There we go. Well, hello there. Hey, man. Uh oh, hang on a second. Do I hit it here? Stand by. Unmute Mike. Hang on a hey, minute. Costa, he's muted so far. You're muted. Stand by. Can't unmute because they chose to mute yourself. <laughs> Yay, I'm not the only one. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, how's that? Yay! Hey, what's happening? <laughs> Man, how, how have you been? been um, well, I, I've been I've been better than that technical mess right there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, it's tough out on these uh, streamyard streets. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you been up to? Oh, not a whole not a whole lot. Um, some hiking, and I don't know, just waiting for nicer weather. So. Is it getting any better out there? Or is it still really cold? It hasn't been too bad here, actually. It's all on the front range. We we've had actually pretty 
pretty nice winter, I'd say. Yeah. A um, little bit of rain last week, but. Man. Nice. How about on the record side? How many records have you bought? Ooh, too many. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's always I'm, the answer, I'm doing, isn't it? I'm doing good with those. <laughs> You're doing good with new records? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Have you been have you been picking up all the uh, Ghastly Ones reissues? The which ones? The Ghastly Ones. They're from uh, Missing yeah. Thing. I'll get some. Hold on. I'll show you. <laughs> he said he didn't want a chair, but <laughs> he'll end up over here. Right here. Oh, no. No, I haven't. You have to get these, man. You got to go right now and buy them. Well, not after this, but, you know. Okay. Not right right now. Is it? Are they just all <laughs> instrumental? Yeah, it's surf. It's uh, is it? just like just like the bomboras stuff like that. Okay. Have you heard, I mean, the I've heard of them? But I didn't. Oh man, you're you're gonna love them. What? An, yeah, these are amazing. All right then. So are they still <laughs> Are they still recording or? No, they uh they stopped for a long time, and they just recently got back together and started doing shows. Okay. Them and uh, have you heard Satan's Pilgrims? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, they started doing shows with them in Portland okay. and California and stuff. And uh -huh. Satan's Pilgrims has a new one out too, and it's amazing, it's really good. Yeah, they had some good, yeah. Satan's, Satan's Pilgrims had some good stuff, dude. Great stuff, yeah. yeah. So, here we go. All right, then. So, we were trying to think of all the people that have just kind of fallen off. And I was talking about uh, reasons that people kind of fell out. And sometimes it's just out of sheer annoyance with, with people. <laughs> I know there were a, a chunk of years where like election stuff, I just got tired of hearing people talk about politics. I was like, enough. You come here to kind of escape from bull crap just to step into another pile of it. So uh, yeah, that got a little, a, a little much, let's put it that way. And then there's different reasons that people jump in and out. Um, uh, there's lots of life changes and stuff like that that cause people to jump out. But, um, thinking about that made me think of who all kind of disappeared at what times and, um, uh, things like that. And I'm really glad that you're here today. And I know there's lots of times that you kind of just are like enough, <laughs> but I'm yeah, glad you're, I, I'm glad you're with us. I guess I'm, I always keep looking for just, I guess those simpler times when it first started, mm -hmm. when it was just a bunch of nerds showing records. Yeah. Um, that, you know, it, it, I really don't think those type of videos would go over now because <laughs> people just be like, oh, those are boring. You know, there were no intros, no costumes. I don't know. It was just a bunch of, uh, much smaller. Probably, mm -hmm. you know, a, a, the word hadn't got out. Um, I, I don't know if maybe what I think is maybe once that people could monetize, mm -hmm. it really changed the, the dynamic of who would get in and get on board, you know, back, back when it was just people in their music room showing records and it, yeah. I miss that. Once Absolutely. it became, I don't know, please sub me and all, you know, once people started making money off it, I think it lost its, it's alert to me. And then when that drama comes and goes, I just, uh, I can't deal with it. I just leave. It's, I mean, I think it's, it's now, I will say I, I'm, well, a fan, no. I'm a fan <laughs> of like drama in the style of like Mari, somebody throwing chairs, that kind of thing. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be a fan of that, <laughs> but I mean, like sometimes it's fun, well, but there's a lot of times when it's just downright stupid. <laughs> Man, I've been going back and watching a lot of older stuff, like older videos from like 2013. And what amazes me is when it's exactly like you said, no intro. They just open up the video and they're just like, "Man, this is what I've got," and I'm completely stoked on it. 
you know, yeah. that's what I've been loving watching that stuff. Yeah. We've been watching videos from like 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. probably, I think my very first channel and I've lost count on how many times I've come and gone was I like said, 2011. Do I go ahead? I'm sorry. It was like December of 2011 when I first, oh. yeah. That's and awesome. Trish was, Trish was around then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It, it was it, what I found really interesting was no matter what you were showing, like the metal heads and the garage heads and the blues psych and the jazz all talked together. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, the punks are going to go there and we'll be over here. You just watched videos and, you know, uh, you learned about whatever. There was no, it didn't, it, there, it didn't get, it, there was no clicks, you know. Yeah. You'd see some jazz guy and just be like, oh, and because the way people were talking about it then, whether they were sharing their knowledge of what they already had or, you know, what they bought. You know, it's always cool to see what somebody got in the last week or find something really special out in the wild or something they'd been looking for for a while. Yeah, you know, it was about I that. I remember time. Greeno is who I miss. Yeah, that's who we, we invited him. Yeah. yeah. We invited yeah. him. Hopefully he'll show up. We don't know. We yeah. And I'm, I'm looking in the chat and several LJ. people. I'm sorry? And LJ. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He, she mentioned LJ the other day, too. Yeah. Um, he was probably... From what I remember at the time, he was like maybe one of the big guys, you know, <laughs> big, yeah, the big, bigger the big channels. But guy. that guy was so just down to earth. He didn't really act like it. Not, I don't know. Some people nowadays are a little bit snooty. <laughs> <laughs> did you, uh, wasn't LJ, did he change his name to Biosite? Isn't that? Well, that name? was his channel name, Biosite. Oh, okay. And he was and LJ, LJ was his, that was his name. Yeah, yeah. Now, he just, I think he up and moved to Maine, and psh, he was done. Yeah, and I sold a bunch of. I sold some records to LJ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a cool, dude. His his oh. knowledge and passion yeah. for whatever he was showing. You know, he was he was more probably metal, classic rock. But like yeah. when he would show you something different, you know, but he'd pull out not just the mainstays. Right. Well, he got a little deep and what Greeno would show his metal collection. Oh my gosh. I would just <laughs> be like, what the heck is that? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like me with Garage or, or Rare Rockabilly, he was pulling out this metal and you know, would know so much about it. And the covers were so cool. Oh, the yeah. The artwork, you know, it was just cool to see, like, his, you know, the depth that his collection went. Now, man, have you have you kept all your collection? Have you sold any records? Or are you still just have it exactly where you want it? I've just actually purged some more um, last, just Monday. Oh, did you really? This past, probably in the last six to eight months, I've probably sold... Oh, close to 200 albums. Holy moly. Wow. What's your, uh, what's your love? down to Colorado Springs and traded for some, some 45s. And what'd you find? I, in Colorado Springs, I found, um, shoot, that was last fall. Um, <laughs> one thing I do remember finding was a, a Denver band called the Rock Tots that I used to see when I was growing up. Oh, nice. And, and they're, um, single. I found that, which was really cool. And some yeah. girl trouble, and uh, just some like old R and B and rockabilly forty fives. Yeah, yeah, that stuff has been. Uh, recently, I sold a bunch of my eighties hardcore. To me, <laughs> I bought well, I sold a that big batch of forty fives to you. Yeah, um, that was great. We still have them. I love them. Early two thousands stuff, but very much yeah. in the eighties sound. Oh man, it was uh, it's awesome. It's uh, it sounds a lot like just like skate skate. Punk. Yes, yep. yeah, I loved it. Still yeah. love it. Still listen to it. Yeah, I yeah, found cool. that other than the few hardcore records I kept, like Adolescence and 
black flag early years and dead yeah. Kennedy's fresh fruit. Like I just traded in um, circle jerks. It's like, I'm 63. It, it doesn't resonate with me anymore. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I, I think some kids should have this now. It, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's, that's a cool attitude to have. Have you, I mean, it's cool that uh, Keith is still going strong though, man. He is still like yeah. as a front man, like he's just so good. He's, he's still kicking it. it. It's funny, though, to see that, like, what is he? He's probably like my age. He's probably like... I, I think he's like 65. Or something. And doing I think that, he's, 60, he's, yeah, like, he's 65. What? But <laughs> that's what he was doing when he was 18, you know, 20. So why not, I guess? It, but it, it's, yeah. fun, it, it, it's to me, it's funny to see old punks. <laughs> it's, yeah. It does, yeah. Did you listen to uh have you listened to a bunch of Guitar Wolf? You like Guitar Wolf, don't you? Yeah, but it's it's almost too much for me. It's just yeah, like, it's yeah. super reverb for sure. Yeah. It's like a lot of feedback. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, yeah, they, I don't have any anymore, but um Yeah. Yeah, it was almost too much. So what what's your focus now? What have you like? Well, I've really. What are you? What are you getting? Just the R and B forty fives and stuff. Well, that's the awesome stuff. Right now, I've been picking up a bunch more sixties garage stuff. Yeah. Really focusing uh, with Grab the it. credit I've been earning at the store. I'm having them get me some big bangers. Uh oh! Oh, really? You go for the big stuff? What's yeah. your grail? What's the grail you're going for right now? Well, the one that they've got on the way for me is. Terry Knight and the Pack. I mean, um, never heard of that. How much more ha have I got to give? Backed with a song called "I've Been Told." Yeah, and it's a little bit slower, but I used to cover it in a band I played in. And nice. It's, yeah, it's way the 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 A, the a side's pro way more garagey, punkish than Terry Knight and the Pack's other stuff. Yeah, you know they were garage rock, not garage punk. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more. You know they had a couple albums out, so they were. Uh, I guess you could say commercial, a bit yeah. commercial. But this this song that's coming is really. I'll show you the one that came in the other day. Yeah, let me see it. Yeah. Out there. So, <laughs> who all's out there? Richard, if you're still there. Who's Richard? Who? Richard, the music maniac. No, he, he can't. was he was trying to come up behind no. the screen and he just sent me a message and said that he was banned. You're not banned. <laughs> it's just we're kind of trying to hold the screen for some people we haven't seen in a very long time. And I see you all the time. Yeah. I love you, but I see you all the time. So <laughs> yeah, don't um, think you're banned. We're just trying no, to no. we're trying to catch up with people we haven't seen. Yeah. So anyway, there's lots of people that you guys have mentioned that I did reach out to, uh, and I just thought, well, if anybody we'll shows if up, show I'll up. be happy. <laughs> but right right now we got the the man himself, Garner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what's uh, missing, man, is your hat. Oh, it's in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> this is spur of the moment. I don't want to uh, mess up my hair, Dave. Oh, uh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can't. Yeah, <laughs> got to be careful. <laughs> this is a killer. Oh, right? nice. nice. And I've got another copy of it if you'd like it. What? <laughs> How much? The though? answer is always yes. <laughs> 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 I just need your address. I just need to put it in the hands of someone who will appreciate it. Man, we'll love it. <laughs> that right. is too kind yeah. of you. Yeah, you Don't really worry about it. it. Music's to be shared. And here's a exactly. good bow beat. A little punker I found. Oh, nice. Just six. Nice. You know, one That's of those awesome. like more obscure kind of things. There's just so much going on. And here's the two that I I treated are myself the, to. Are those getting uh, harder and harder to find? Well, yeah, and difficult? they're just more and more expensive. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. This is a primate. 
Nice. That's cool. Yeah. The screening on the ink was off a little bit, it looks like, but yeah. I think it's 1966. Still in really nice shape. And one last one. This one I even had a company sleeve for. The magic mushroom, I'm gone. Nice. Stuff that, you know, like back from the grave and pebbles type of stuff. Did you see, uh, did Jenny tell you about uh, the haul she just had? 45s? No. She just, <laughs> you want to tell him? Which ones? About the, with the pebbles. Songs. Oh, oh, that was a while back. Um, Check this out. At the thrift store, somebody donated a huge, one of those real deep um, tubs of 45s. Um, okay. Yeah, one of the storage tubs. Uh, and they're all in the company sleeves and all just in such good condition. And uh, they also donated the Pebbles CD boxes. But when I was looking at the the Pebbles, um, it was pretty much all the records that were on the Pebbles <laughs> thing were in the boxes. Um, and, and lots and lots more. In the, in the tub? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> that's, that's what she said she's like i think a lot of these are on that box set yeah so i was just like can i make an offer on this whole box and i never do that ever yeah. <laughs> i'm usually like i'm broke let me just pick a couple of them out and this time i was like yeah i'm not <laughs> leaving these <laughs> did you get them? Uh, oh no i took the whole box oh so, so you did good yeah yeah, yeah. so if there's any of those <laughs> maybe maybe we have some you want. I've sold a bunch of them though. We could do some uh, trade. Yeah. Trying to recover um uh, what I spent. <laughs> I've sold a bunch. Do you though. want to tell him how much you spent on it though? No. <laughs> uh let's see. We got, I, got I, I can I can only imagine. <laughs> I didn't spend I didn't spend nearly well, number one. I'm popo pitiful, so I'm not going to spend a ton, uh, but uh, it was an investment for me so, in my world, <laughs> but it was a huge number of them. And I felt like I got a really good deal and I've just about recovered my, um, what I what spent you put them, into so it. it's good. It's all good. And, and I still have more. You bought them from knew what they have. No, I don't think so. It was from a really? thrift store, but I mean, oh. I, I think obviously whoever donated them, um, uh, they, you know, they knew. liked to collect, obviously. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know why they would get rid of. Well, that of person probably passed away or whatever. And somebody yeah. didn't know was like, well, I don't want these records. Right. Who's the moving sidewalks? Pfft, I'll take this down. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I'll be like, oh yeah. Those are the things when I see them, I'm just like, oh, be cool. <laughs> exactly. I was just like, oh, lose my breath or something. <laughs> She was you looking. Okay, she, oh yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, she was <laughs> looking through. Them. She was looking through them, going, "Oh man, these are in really good shape. They're all like mint shape, mint wow. condition." But we've just about. I mean, anyway. she's kept a lot of them. Yeah, I kept a lot. Just for you, girl. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, like, kept. I'll have to dig through them and I'll email you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll talk, we'll do another talk privately. Yeah. But I'm keeping any of them that have to do with chickens. I do with chickens. Yeah, like chicken walk and stuff like that. Yeah. Got to keep oh, the chickens you got, off. You got Link Ray? Yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, well, then you better keep a Link Ray. Is it on Swan? You know um, that? I'm not sure what label. I'll have to look. Yeah. Run Chicken Run is well, it should be on Swan. I think. Okay. Uh, any old, yeah. any old Link Ray, Swan, or then a couple on Epic. We moved one of the turntables down to the shop where he prints. and okay. uh, But there's people who do taxes above us. So we have to wait till they leave, and then it's on. <laughs> <laughs> until April 15th, we have to wait until the tax people get done. Which is so frustrating. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, you know, they're up there doing taxes and you should play them a little bit of, you know. Kind of soothe them down up I there. <laughs> I don't know. They're all jacked up. Run some numbers. <laughs> I bet, yeah, I bet they would love it. <laughs> <laughs> 
saw Randy in here. Yeah, there's a bunch of people in here. And uh, let's see, we need to give more time to VC videos. There's still chill folks out there making videos. Just got off put when everyone making YouTube videos starting to get so desperate for subs. Yes, sir. Anytime somebody goes, like and subscribe and smash that like, smash that, that like button. whatever button. Um, I go, ah, I'm out of here. <laughs> and no, I will not be. So in the chat, tons of people have been calling out names of people that they're that they miss. And I, I have a feeling every single one of us probably started watching YouTube and had two or three people who they loved watching and they kind of fell away or disappeared or quit making videos. Um, holler at some of these people. And I mean, with the number of people y'all have mentioned, we could probably do a live stream every Wednesday until we're dead and still not hit all of these people. But I know some of them are just there's no way to get in touch with them aside from through video comments, which makes it really, really hard if people have like, he had a, maybe even two channels. I was going to say he had a channel. He's had several channels, uh, but I know he had one channel that he can't get into anymore. Yeah, the, um, the email is just gone. So I know um, that may be the case with some of the people who've fallen by the wayside. Uh, I'm a lot. I'm a lot like you, Garner. I think I just like making new channels. I love. <laughs> <laughs> I always like deleting channels, and then I'm like, oh, hey, I'll make another one. <laughs> yeah, I'm always at the point where it's like I'm not like, oh, I'll come back later. I'm like, fuck it, I'm done. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. him. You, you He'll delete I, everything. And you like, and I are a lot uh, like I'm that. I've done that. So no, <laughs> Randy, I'm not. I'm not trying to ditch just you. I'm trying to ditch a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah and i don't blame you for that what does randy say what is oh i was just I, I just turned the comments on and saw him oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to lose him <laughs> so somebody mentioned I'll come back. <laughs> and let's say spinning geek spinning greek excuse spinning me spinning greek yeah. haven't you gotten in touch with spinning greek though? uh no not recently but I did holler at him a long time ago and said, hey, dude, what's up? But no response. So, I mean, I know some of these folks were so long ago that I'm thinking they're not going to remember who I am. I was just, I mean, a blip on the screen for a lot of people. So, um, you know, you never know, though. You just never know who might say, hmm, maybe I should jump back on there just for a minute. And it is kind of nice to see a little update from what people are doing, even if it's just a little one. Uh, yes, sir. I think most of us started watching <laughs> VC videos to find new music. I always thought it was kind of like when you go to the record store and you're flipping through the stacks and somebody goes, oh, if you like that, you're going to love this. I love that. <laughs> and I miss that about hanging out in record stores regularly uh, or even looking at your T-shirt going, oh, you like them, huh? Check out this other. I love that. Um, and it's I don't care what pressing. I just want to hear the song. Oh, sure, so I just want to sure. hear the music. Now, if it happens to be a really good pressing, too, then, you know, yay, that's awesome. But um, but just getting turned on to awesome music, that's where it's at. Let's yeah, say. Show, show these to Garner. There's another one. Jay in the van. Vinyl yeah, in the van. Where did Jay go? Uh, I hollered yeah. at Colin Medicine Horse. I saw somebody mentioned Colin the Medicine Horse. Colin Medicine Horse. Uh, monetization's a factor, he said. I've been collecting these, Garner. Have you seen these? Yeah. Yeah, I've been getting these uh, CDs. They've. Uh, I showed them to Randy the other night. And I, uh, I think... It's the first time he had heard of them, but that's cool. You've heard of them for sure. Yeah, it's a um, a mix of rockabilly and R and B and yeah, maybe even a little mm -hmm. garage on them. Yeah, I need to make you some CDs if you want. If you want, I'll totally rip them for you. And there's one of these that has a lot of songs about chickens. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about fried chicken and stuff. <laughs> 
I don't know why that amuses me so much. (laughs) You know, you got to find your thing. (laughs) It makes you happy. Some cool graphics as well. Songs about chickens. It's about cornbread and cabbage greens. And that's very cool. (laughs) (laughs) We used to do an online radio show that we called Meet and Three. And that would have been perfect for the meet and three. <laughs> They're probably like those um, desperate rock and roll collections, huh? Yeah, I would, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know who put those out. Oh, I think they were on a label called Flame. They were kind of bootlegged, really. Oh, okay. It's, some of them came. I think it was out of Germany, though. Give a second. Give that pretty dog that's an awesome dog see that little girl she's coming in to see what's going on yeah this stuff ah uh, those are awesome yeah and those they're are killer some of them i have are just plain white that flame which i believe was out of germany nice i bet the quality on those is pretty good though you know these are pretty well done yeah like, there's I think the only time like you get a track that's like a bit muddy, that's was the source. Right. The only source that you get probably. Yeah. I mean, look at that type of stuff that's on there. Nice. Hang on a minute. Let me get rid of this comment. I don't know how to do it. Stand by. I love it. There we go. <laughs> that gives us more space. <laughs> Those are killer. Those are awesome, man. Yeah. There's, I think there's like well over 20. I, I quit at eight. <laughs> Did you? You were like, like I have enough. Yeah. It'd be like going down that rabbit hole with the uh, um, bison bop and buffalo bop. <laughs> you know, there's like the bison ones. ones. Yeah, we've got a couple of those. We have a couple of the bison ones. Is that what we're talking? Wait. Yeah, he's talking about the same type of comp. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's like uh, of these. There's like 15 or so of these. Wow. And I think Who puts those out. Uh, the bear family. Oh, okay. Now yeah. that's that. Yeah, that's, those guys know what they're doing. <laughs> it's good stuff. They they put this out too. The horror show. It's all the R and B horror, like Halloween type stuff. Okay. It's great. Yeah, it's great. And um, but yeah, there's a lot of these, man. I could. I've only got about four of them. <laughs> oh. So I could. I've got. I got about eleven more to go. <laughs> Be nice they're if they so came good. like a box set, huh? Yeah, they're so stuff good. like that to come in like a nice set. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't recognize Sean, but it's good to have you here too. Sean <laughs> and JB, nice to have you. Let's see if y'all know this guy's name. Who was the guy who had tons of metal, thick accent, shaved head, wife had a baby, and he slowed down. Can't remember his name. His videos started with a record player. He had a white room. Hmm. Ask him if that was Jared. Was it Jared? He passed away. Oh, uh, hmm. Ask him if he I don't know if he had a white room, though. Ask him if he knew Backwoods Metal. Did you know Backwoods Metal? Let's see. Hang no, on. Ben. Hello, Jason. What's up? Yeah, Ben, did you know Backwoods Metal? Because he had a shaved head, thick accent. I just don't know about the white room He's part. Yeah, he had a white, he drank in a white room. Oh, okay. With just his dresser. Oh, all right. Maybe that was backwards metal. What do you have coming up for the uh, zine? What are the next ones uh, born out of time? Um, I have an article from um, Ben in Australia on the band Stepmother. Nice. I haven't heard yeah. of them. Um, there were some guys from the band called Lecherous Gaze. It's good, just um, I don't know, big block rock, really. Right. It's, it's always got that Aussie flavor, though. You know, Radio Birdman or some of that. A little bit of Motor City, but it's yeah, it's good. It's I always good have to, I always have to write down the bands that you put in that zine. <laughs> always, <laughs> and I'm like, I have to go search these out. We got a hunt list. Yeah, I have a hunt list because <laughs> of you. <laughs> I'll just print them and then you always have the list. So right. yeah, oh, we do. I have a binder where I printed your zine out. 
<laughs> yeah, we keep Let's we have it. a whole big folder of we them. We keep it in a folder. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I like that thing that um, Mika made up on Doctor and the Kid. I think oh. um, for their one of their anniversaries, like their thirty fifth show or whatever. Right. And at that time, I think there were twenty issues of BOT. And he oh, put them yeah. in a binder, all like one of those ring binders, yeah. plastic ring binders. And it's the best way to have them. Somebody, um, you know, whoever won that. So they were all like 20 issues, the first 20 issues, all in one thing. Yeah. That's you know, cool. It was, uh, it was because of you I discovered one of my favorite bands, uh, The Omen. The Omens? Oh, from Denver? Yeah. Uh, well, the Omens. I think. I guess they put out one. Did they put out one album? They've got a couple. I think Dave. Um, yeah. That guy who is in that band. They're like Fort Collins or Denver. That's them. That's the one I have. I love that album, man. It's so good. And I don't have that one. I need that one. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a there's a single. But then he, there was another band, the Down and Outs, yeah. and Element Seventy Nine. They're all the like Mike DeBall is is in all three of those. Man, but all that just good garage punk sound. It's so good. The Omens. I listen to that album all the time, and yeah, it's this so good. Strong. This is probably one of the strongest ones. Yeah, that that's the one. I love it. Early two thousands, I think, huh? Yeah, it's yeah Denver, Colorado. Um, this one was put out by Sound Flat. Yeah. You know what's crazy is that I wish I had paid when I lived in Denver for a couple of years. I wish I had paid more attention to that scene, you know. But I was basically going to school and you know trying to stay away. They had so many metal shows in Denver. I couldn't. I was going broke as a student, so <laughs> I had Bro, to like what. What time did you live there? Um, I came there in probably 94. Okay, well, that would have been right around. Um, I think that this guy from this band, The Omens, had a record label called 360 Twist. Oh, okay. About that time. And there was even a couple of years where there was a garage festival in Denver. Oh, man. And, yeah, see? <laughs> of it was in the summer, and I was fighting fire. I was like, well, I can't get down there now. Yeah. But, um, it, it lasted. It was just like poof, at, you know. But there was a pretty good little scene that um, must have been cooking down there. And then he put out bands from, you know, all over the place. Yeah. 360 Twist. That's about, great. I'll, I'll have to check those other bands out he was in. Yeah. Down, uh, down and outs. Yeah. Some ten inches and nice. Yeah, here we go. Here's Ooh. one of them. I bet that was a good show, JB. The down and outs. Is that his other band? Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean they all sound the same. I mean, they sound like the omens. Well, that's fine like, with me. <laughs> that's I think good. He was but... like he was like me with channels. He was just <laughs> <a new band. laughs> Yeah. yeah, man. That uh, I'll tell you, that's fine if they all sound the same. That's awesome to me. I kind of like that. Yeah, an element, element seventy nine. Yeah, and I think yeah. they just forty fives there. That's killer. Maybe a ten inch. What, what you got? What was the little record shop that uh, it had like two stores basically together that we shopped in? Wax tracks. Wax tracks. Yeah, was that, that was the a, ones? Yeah, it was an older store, not the not yeah. a fancier new store. Yeah, that store was dangerous. Uh, for me. Yeah, I liked that store. And there a were lot. a couple. They basically had the whole block, Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The corner was originally was albums. Then that the corner store, the main store went to CDs, but always down the block was um what they called across the tracks, which was always used vinyl. Yeah. Um for a while they even had another used store across the street and um, like a video store, but wedged in between the two stores. Yeah. I haven't been for years and twist and shout is good. Yeah. Twist and They're shout. New location. I like their old location over on um, 
Alameda. Yeah. I used to hang out uh, when I went to school there. I used to hang out at Twist and Shout. And there was another one on uh, Colfax that I can't, I can't remember, but it was a, a pretty good store. There were two of them. One was right cool. down by Capitol Hill. Uh, maybe, yeah. There was a place know. called Jerry's Records. Yeah, that I think that was the one I may have went into a lot. Grumpy there was old ass one. working in there. What is it? It was Jerry was grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> was he really? Yeah. You better went in there, knew what you were getting, and just leave because he was hey, Was yeah. that near the um I think I know the one you're talking about? It was that near the dome, the 70 millimeter theater? There was like a, a, a small shopping center with a record store in it. But it was down, I used to live on there. And it was, uh, God, I can't remember the street. Was well, the race of... was right on Colfax, right as it kind of comes down the hill by the Capitol. It Man, was right. Yeah. Um, it was by a place called the Congress Inn, really old seedy dive bar. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> you could go, go buy records, then go go to the Congress Inn. <laughs> it had those windows up high, you know, huh. like windows up just like right along the, the where they met the ceiling. But yeah. there was so much cigarette smoke. <laughs> they were like tinted orange. A- <laughs> so when you went in there, it always just seemed kind of like sepia tone. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, man. It was an awesome place. <laughs> that's good. That's yeah. that's very good. We had a we had a guy here in the town I grew up in that uh, it was called Century Twenty One Records, and uh, he was like the only place where you know that sold uh, glass. <laughs> you had to call it glass, but that's why he had tons of the cassettes, and it was super small. And he went to the local bar where all the bands played so much that they had him a like his own stool. <laughs> and he and he was grumpy. I think his name was Jerry too. Yeah, maybe it's something about Jerry's. They're all yeah, grumpy or something. Huge store in what Pittsburgh? Oh um, yeah, Jerry. Yeah, in Pittsburgh, in the Jerry's records there. that's like upstairs. Yeah, yeah. they have a uh, like. I think huge that. Record. I think that Jerry may have passed away. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. He'd been around for that store. Been around for. I remember reading about that, and you know all kinds of old fanzines and magazines. Yeah, and then, you know, word got out. Jerry's Records, and, you know. <laughs> then first time you see um, another old, another channel that isn't around. His name was um, Glass Orchid Aftermath. His name was Mark. Oh, yeah. He was. He super, do- I mean, he, he came back was doing live streams, kind of him and another guy always talking about music. Yeah, um, like once a week during during COVID, I think they started their kind of live streaming thing. Yeah, um, but. Mark, he had a little fanzine as well, like really tiny, like almost hand drawn. Oh, nice! Cool that he he and his wife put out. But um, he was probably around when I first got in in 2011, 2012. Mark was going. I'll have to look up that name, Glass yeah. Orchid Aftermath. That's Glass cool. Orchid Aftermath. Yeah, I'll all one, like all one. Yeah. Yeah. Then, um, so, so 2011 was about when you started in on this mess? Like about December of 2011, I yeah. had a channel called Mr. Mean Daddy 60. <laughs> nice, man. That's awesome. And you then bring, I was you need to bring um, that back. garage rock truck stop for a long time. Oh, man. That's a That's cool a, name, too. Yeah. And then bring, I went to um, High Octane Revival. Yeah, that's the first one I subbed to you on was that one. And then I did that that one like I stop and then come back under the same name. Yeah. And then I did Born Out of Time on and on. That's I awesome. Tried one called Burps from the Swamp. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's awesome. That lasted about two weeks that I got all that. What was your first channel name? I don't know. I don't even remember. I was Miss Sketchy before I was me, before I was B sides. But yeah. I think it it says my oldest video is nine years, yeah. but it feels like a lot longer than that. But I think it's because I had videos under Miss Sketchy. Yeah. 
Why don't you get Randy to come up and talk? Yeah. To you? Yeah, Randy. That um, Mark's wife. Her name was Sam. Yeah. And then that at that same time was a guy from the Pacific Northwest. His name's Bo. He had um, a channel called Earhead Six. I oh, hollered at him. He, she just talked to him. Yeah. Yeah. He said he's not collecting records anymore. He said that he's doing hockey cards now. Yep. I was going to say the last time I saw him with a video, he was doing cards. Mm -hmm. We, we a big time him he, baseball fan. Yeah. We told no, him he could come baseball. up and show some. Yeah. yeah. We were like, Maybe just come up anyway. Now that Seattle has a team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Michael, yeah. Michael Elliott, the other day we saw his uh, a thing with him where he's now collecting like figures uh like action figures but like really big ones like the, the special ones, ones. The one, six custom yeah scale. but i yeah. mean even if you show that stuff it's kind of cool to see where people where people are because you you do think about people who've kind of fallen off i think even if we don't know people personally or like in person you kind of get attached to people that especially when you ha have so much music in common I mean, it just yeah. feels like you've had a friend for a while, even if you've never. Uh, in real life. Yeah. And that's kind of sad when they drop by the wayside. Mm -hmm. So I threw the link out and folks, I'm not, um, I'm not doing like a big Harry forum uh, or anything, and, and, but you know, I can leave and then we can let some younger folks in there. As well. then, no, we were, no, we were don't, leave. Get, don't, <laughs> don't leave, man. We were going to get Randy up here to talk. No, we don't, we don't want it to get too crazy because I'm not trying to run a circus or anything, <laughs> but um, I do that in daily life. <laughs> um, but if there's some of the folks who uh, either uh, invited or th just haven't been around in a very long time, we would love to see you up here. So that's why I threw the link out. Um, so anyway, uh, I think most of the folks that are over here, though, are on regularly right now. Uh, Eric is a every now and again person, <laughs> and it's good to see him out there, but he may have already gone on. Just like, listen. <laughs> before you were born <laughs> well for a lot of people it's before they were born the, on youtube <laughs> before they were born in the vc this is us did cards make a comeback i yes. i don't know he says yes i think cards have that's, made a comeback that's not my world so i don't really it know is. um usually when i got like gum with the cards it was some kind of like yeah. cards with bands and stuff on them but what does Randy say? Or Garbage Pail Kids. Hold on, what does Randy say? Hang on, let me see. Dead Wax says, last Working night, man. Nate. Garner, tell Randy to get up here. He says thanks, but he's got to go to bed soon. 5.30? Man. That's, that's a... Yeah, I don't like waking up early, but I'm Gar on spring break, so hey, hey. Garner, <laughs> Garner's the only true punk here. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, it is. I can't, I can't say that. I mean, sure, I listen to punk and still do, but am I a punk? I, I mean, I couldn't really say that. I can't. It's, it's attitude. It's punk yeah. is attitude. So uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the right t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you, you know how good it is to see you, man. It's been a while. Yeah, I haven't done anything for a while. Dude, but that's Dude, good though. You know what? I, used I mean, to get on um, Doctor and the Kid. I'm just getting on there, and Jason. Yeah. You know who kind of started? Well, Randy kind of started live streaming on his own. You know. Yeah. He would do. Randy would do his Friday night things, and then I think probably the first one that I remember um, doing it where people would get up. Jason during COVID, and that's right. where a lot of folks met. Like. A, Oh um, yeah, Doctor and the Kid met on Jason Skills live streams. Did you hear uh, Ryan Kidd's new EP? Yeah, yeah, it's good, man. I, I was able to grab a copy from him. Yeah, it's good. I stuff. was lucky that I was in the in the loop before he even let people know it was out. He oh man, out. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and that, that's cool. You know, because he there was a time where he was missing it. You know on the live streams and oh, then he really? got to get back into it was good that was 
super cool for him. And he's yeah, putting man. a full length out this fall. Is he really? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there for it. About September, October, he thought it should be out. Man, you're going to be getting an advanced copy. <laughs> well, I didn't get no copies. Oh, you didn't get a copy? <laughs> he, needs to, he needs to give you a promo copy of the record. I did get a, I did get an interview with him, so that was good. I'll did, nice. Was he, is he still going to do an article for you sometime? I did an interview with him. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to write for you for a little bit. Oh, he used to do. Um, he was doing um, uh, reviews for me. Yeah. But then when he got busy um, with the recording, and now that he's got the band together, yeah, he, he didn't have time. But yeah, I mean, he's always whoever's contributed is always welcome to send in. You know, Jenny was the first contributor with her. Oh. With her. I'm proud to, proud of that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for including me. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Yeah. That's awesome. No, and that helps out. And then Ben um, does the Australia stuff, which is, is Ben cool Rankin. Um, is it? You know, he knows so much about what's going on down there that it, it was nice to have him write. Is that yeah. Ben Rankin? Ben Rankin's, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Nice. His writing style is just like, oh, this is. Yeah, uh, okay. I love that style that he that he has. So that rules. Well, all right then. Yeah, it's still, I'm still working on it. It's kind of I just when I took that when I thought I was going to shut her down, I was just like, ah, oh, it's just too much. Um, yeah. Now it's just like when something comes to me, I'll put it down. It's not cool. like trying to get it done every month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, I got burned out. I guess, you know, I was just like, ah, too much pressure. It's like, if something pops up, then, you know, or I, I find a new band that I, that excites me and, you know, yeah. And I went, I put a bunch of feelers out for some, um, interviews and never heard back from them. And that kind of right. took the steam out of me. I was like, fine. Then. <laughs> <Pally old laughs> guy. Yeah. So I just let it, I just let it come to me and the issue will be out when the issue gets out. So, I think that's the best way to do it, man. Cause you're not like, you know, you're not self and self imposed deadlines sometimes can take the creative drive, like right out of you. If you go, man, I got to have it done by, you know, the 28th every month or something. And sometimes that'll just, that'll yeah. just get you. Yeah. Even just trying to, to um, get one monthly. Right. Um, started becoming like, uh, and I was like, man, I don't want to just settle and put something in there. Yeah, you know, there's exactly. A couple issues. I'm like, oh, I'm not very pleased with them. You know, it, <laughs> yeah. it, I just put up. There's some filler. It, yeah. It knows. And I was like, ah, that's not what I want to do. It's got to be, you know, because when when I get a good one, you know, whenever Angie reads them, before um, um oh sixth beetle, I will put my email in there for you. Um. I don't know do you want us to do you want us to put it in there? Yeah, I don't I don't know if I can type in there, but that high octane revival sixty at Gmail. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we'll put it up right now. Let's see if it'll uh so, it's just H I um, or H I G H. It's just H I okay. and then octane. It's not no. high octane revival sixty six, you say? Sixty. 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 At Gmail. Okay. At gmail.com. Okay. Yeah, Randy, you're right. John did. No, it. Oh, I think it comes up because I'm. Uh... No, I let it on the screen right there. Oh, there it is. Okay. How about yeah. that right there? Beetle, just email me there. I'll get you on the list, and I'll get you all the back issues. And you'll be one of the cool kids. <laughs> We're all in there. <laughs> and Randy. Randy, I need your email again because when I shut down, I lost a lot of um, off my list. So, I think so Randy, if you're paying attention there, behind, and, Randy. and uh, if he has uh, moved on somewhere, then I'll send it to you. Because I know, I know he'll want to be in on that. Oh wait, there you go. He says I have it. <laughs> okay, I'll get I'll send it, it to I'll, you. I'll find out. <laughs> I'll send you the, I think the issues that I put together since I came back when I, when I shut down and, and then came back. So I'll get those to you, Randy. 
cool, cool. That's yeah, awesome. John, John definitely, um, bit by boom was really good for helping, um, uh, Ryan get back at it. He wouldn't let him, he wouldn't let him just give up. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Sometimes you need a goose. Yeah, we can't we can't let we can't let you give up either, man. It's so important. But Dude, you know, so I kind of I mean, there's been big chunks of time that I've dropped off, and I know you yeah. have on many occasions. But <laughs> um, you know, just the world gets busy. And at first, I said I'm going to put out at least one video a week, and I I'm going to make sure that it's out every Wednesday or whatever like that. It took like two seconds before that was blown. That just wasn't going to happen. It just doesn't, it doesn't work like that for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's just a lot of times that I'm just like, eh. And then what's the point in doing it if you don't feel it, you know? Yeah. yeah and, think, no, go ahead. and you have to have something kind of new to, t you know, get a new stack of records or mm -hmm. like yeah. saw a show or whatever. Yeah. I mean, if you're trying to just, I don't know how some of those people do it. I mean, and, and then they do a 35 minute video. Yeah. I, I can't do a 35 minute video. Right. <laughs> well, there's a lot of times that I think, well, everybody else knows more stuff about these records than I do. So I'm just doing show and tell. And well, these are kind of easy to find at this point because they just had 16 different reissues of the same thing. And eh, just never mind. I'll wait till I have something that's actually cool to show. <laughs> that box of pebbles 45 <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah it's got a bit of hours right there but we just set up the turntable so now we have to play them instead of just show them and that's much more fun i would yeah. rather have the music speak for itself than me sit there and yap about it yeah so we uh when we were doing uh the garage back all those times we had discovered um it was like a it was a bootleg tape site that we had to write into but they had garage bands like they would have 10 bombora shows or like i mean they would have a ton of stuff like the mummies it was the first time we could get that stuff we got a bunch of trash women and uh what happened was is that we were so stoked on that every week we were like man we gotta do a new episode of the garage and so we were pumping them out and we got through the 12 we had to do 12 of them and uh and that like they like really goosed us along because we were getting in these boxes of tapes, VHS tapes, and we had to digitize them. And we were like, oh, man, this was such great footage. So that live footage. Yeah, the live footage yeah. was like keeping us because it was bands like we couldn't see or they weren't touring. You know, it's like just bands we started to love at that time. And uh, so um, we're in the process now of digitizing all that stuff. Oh, so wow. hopefully I'll have a bunch of new uh, footage and stuff to put up for those bands. There were so many bands, dude. I mean, I don't even. You would, yeah, you would dig it. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll like all the footage for sure. Do you have any Teen Generate? Yeah, there's a bunch of Teen Generate shows. Some teen Generate in there. Yeah. Yeah. There was that, and um, we had. You found all that footage? Yeah, Brian has it. Nice. Yeah, you were talking to the the guy that did the garage with me. You talked to him one time. Uh, he was the guy that got up on stage with the Lords of Altamont that one time and played. And okay. uh yeah, he, he has all of those tapes. <laughs> I always bug him. And like every day I'm like, man, have you finished digitizing that stuff? <laughs> and he's like, man, I'm working. I don't know, but it's coming, man. Uh, so anything you need, like, I mean, any bands you're looking for from that era, we collected um, mostly nineties garage stuff. Cause that was like all the asterisk bands and, all yep. that stuff we were big on that so if you're looking for any of that footage well blu-rays coming your way oh cool yeah all right the um yeah those uh estrus um garage shock shows yeah on every year dude that yeah estrus was so good have you heard about that book i asked I randy if, book yet i know that it's finally out yeah i didn't know if they would come to denver and do a signing i figured they might they might be in Denver. I think they're only touring it. Like if you go to a, like the signing, you can get it. And then they leave some copies in the okay. city. So they might be in Denver some point. Yeah. He won't come to Grand Junction. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put some drive to him, depending on which way he comes through. But yeah. 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 I could see him stopping at, um, 
um, well, there's a big bookstore right there next to Twist and Shout. Yeah, what was it? Um, uh, it's like a multi-level. It's like three or four levels. It is now, yeah. Yeah. Well, Twist and Shout is all one level, but next door, the building is... Yeah, the big bookstore. Upstairs. Yeah. I wish I remembered the name of that place. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. the bookstore is... Um, I don't know what that is. Huh. Oh. Well, they'll get there. I guess. My, up my, my wife would know. She'd go to I the I told you get there. <laughs> Stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to meet... I met... Um, and I think he still does videos. Zeke, the vinyl geek. Zach. Ah, I remember the name. Yeah. He used to be like quite active. And um, um, I actually met him a couple times in Denver and did some digging. One time just we drove around town all day. He was just nice. taking me all to the old places. And then yeah. um, met him for at one of the uh, record shows. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Then he moved um, to the East Coast and, and then was in Korea. He's, re he's retired now. But, um, it, you know, I think also what happens is there's still people from before, old ones doing it, but the way the algorithm gets, then the, the mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's scattered everywhere, Jen. Yeah. Just, yeah. People that we know are probably still doing it, but somehow it just got fractured somehow. I've noticed I only get. I really get the same videos in my feed all the time. Like I can put in, if I put in vinyl community, 2011, I'll get the same videos. It's trying to give me today. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I like the same 10 yeah, the same videos 10 pop over up every time. Again. And I can't get out of that. Like it's, yeah. it's yeah, like, I, it's did, I do too. Feed. The same 10 or 15 channels. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Maybe, then an off one will come up somehow. Yeah. It's like, well, who's this guy? Because if you uh, try to uh, find a new channel, you'll be yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, I know there's people coming up, but I mean, I'd do anything to have to find somebody else who talk about garage and rockabilly. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get my friend Brian back in here, man. He has like he still has he has he plays, he's played in so many bands and he's in um the guy Ryan that was in his band owns a label and a promotion. He's a, like a promoter in Nashville and he puts together like a bunch of garage stuff. And he, his band, he was on uh, God, what's that label? The red is in it the red? red in the red. Yeah. His band was on that. What band and, was uh, let me see. I'm going to get it for you. Hold on. It's in the red. <laughs> That's that was kind of the estrus that came in after estrus. Take yeah, over some good right stuff out. Out. He's gotta go hunt it down. The blank pages, Prague Jazz Man, Mr. Platypus. I don't think I've met any of those folks. But I mean most of the ones that are sent to me on the uh, suggestions are the people who like yell at you on the screen. And that drives me bonkers. And pretty much every one of the ones that they suggest to me are going on the screen <laughs> on their thumbnails. You can't believe what I just found. <laughs> it's like <laughs> out of here. <laughs> are they posing? Yeah. They're... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop, yeah. destroyed those kind of things. I, that's I don't want anybody yelling at me, and I don't want them to tell me to smash anything. <laughs> they can go on. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me about your records or about music that you love. I'm smashing nothing. <laughs> He's. He's digging up what the uh, the band, band is. Band, yeah. yeah, I was I was thinking about people that have dropped off, and I started with just a few, and then the more I thought about it, the more people I remembered, and I was like, "There's no if all of these people show up at the same time, somebody's gonna get their feelings hurt that I didn't let them up there, or it could be nobody shows up." 
and I'll just sit there with my finger up my nose <laughs> and do nothing. <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, all you gotta do, all I could do is try. So I'm really glad that you're here. I'm glad Gorvo's here and Eric showed up. All of these folks that are in, in chat. Thank you. Thank you. And it is crazy how many people have have fallen off over time. Was um Grecian Thunder posting when hmm. you No, I've not seen Grecian Thunder. Okay, he was although that sounds familiar, but I don't I don't think I've met them. He was a funny character. Um, but yeah, he he fell away for he he's been gone a long, long time. Yeah. Um I think maybe the metal guy they were talking about earlier, was it Miko? Yes, they mentioned Miko. Miko Malcolm? Mm Mm-hmm. That yeah, he doesn't anymore. He he did some amazing stuff. He had an amazing collection of like blues rock, prog, blues psych, you know, Black Sabbath, Doom Metal. Yeah. I think he's he he got a band going. Though so it's uh, there were several people, uh, British friends that I thought, well, there's no way I can do this at night and pull the people that are West coast have to be after supper or after work, but then there's no way they'll all be asleep. And I figured if, if nothing else, I could have another stream in the middle of the day and see, <laughs> see yeah. who else shows well, up sometime. <laughs> well, like Madam Sin and them, you'd have to be like noon or so your time. Right. It'd be like, oh man, it'd be like four in the morning there now. Yeah. So there's just no way to hit everybody at once. But, um, you know, like I said, just throw it out there and see what happens. And I figured if there were enough people that showed up, maybe this could be more than one day and just invite other people or y'all just pester them to death. Just holler at them until somebody ends up saying, okay, okay, I'm alive. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it, it is nice for, uh, people to say they miss you anyway <laughs> i think that's, that's like to say people you know you got you guys both work i mean and, and yeah. folks you know there was probably quite a crowd that started channels i mean if you if you if you looked at it and asked around like how many people started doing a channel or were a lot more you bet randy and i will get you caught up um, my apologies for losing it, but I had a brain fart, so um, I'll get you caught up. And uh, you need to do your Friday night gig, man. Yeah, <laughs> that was yes. fun. That was that was that's, a, fun. that's another thing. I think so many people are trying not to stream over someone else too, that it's like almost impossible. You need like a TV guide to keep track of who's streaming when. And even still, I I always figure there's a different flavor for everybody. (laughs) That's right. If you stream at the same time as someone else, they're going to have the people who want to talk about what they're... Right. So, yeah, I would know that I'll be talking. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to be thinking you're stepping on their toes. Uh, Well, there are those who do, (laughs) but... (laughs) The ones you probably don't really have to worry about them. Right, right. They don't own the place. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, it's like, come on, man. But, but you know, I think I think you're right, though. I think there's uh, plenty of space for everybody, and uh, but it is, I think, I think it is kind of impossible to not overlap somebody just because there's only so many hours in the day, and usually at this time of night. If I've been working all day, I'm probably um, looking at the inside of my eyelids when I'm sitting in the chair, (laughs) pretending that I'm watching a TV show, but I'm really not. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, I usually conk out. All right. We got he runs uh, Sweet Time Records. Have you heard of them? Oh, okay, Yeah. 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 He's and he's uh, he's in he's in a bunch of them. The Sleevines. He was in that band. Or he's okay. in that band right now, and uh, that's who um, uh, Ryan Kidd opened for. Oh, really? Ryan Kidd opened for the Sleevines and Protex. 
There, there you go. So uh, is that one? Uh, okay. This one right here. Oh man, I don't know. It's gonna white it out. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Like Venus. Yeah. Uh, well, those guys are probably touring, um, and the Slevines are probably touring with Protex. And um, Ryan just got on the on the night that they played in Memphis. Yeah. So the first time that he took his stuff that, that he that he went live with that EP. So, let me see if uh, I, let me see if this shows up. But that's him right there. Okay. Sweet time. Yeah. Sweet time records. He's a nut, man. You would like him a lot. You guys, <laughs> you would you would like him, man. He's a he's a cool guy. He was in uh, Brian's band and uh, the Reverbians, and um, yeah, his uh, he's a great drummer. I don't. Know. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah, he's he's responsible for bringing. He's brought all the garage bands <laughs> that can tour. He's brought them to Nashville. Like it's it's probably because of him, because I, I just saw he just had the Detroit Cobras play, and um, yeah, it's just recently. Yeah, the Detroit Is Cobras. Rachel Nagy pass away. Uh, it says the Detroit Cobras featuring Marcus Durant. Okay, yeah, because um, the because the other guy died, right? Well, the lead singer Rachel Nagy, I believe. Oh, okay. So, I think, yeah. It so be it, a shame cause, wow, I mean, I, her voice just am, was amazing for that stuff. Yeah. yeah, I love those records. Oh yeah. So they must be back at it, I guess, with uh, the other members of the band. Well, that's cool that they're carrying on. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's him, I man. I, mis- that's I could be mistaken, but I, I'm pretty sure someone in the Detroit Cobras passed away. You may be right because I just saw the picture from the show and it was a guy singing. Okay. It, did, it didn't have the female. No. They weren't they like married? The guy, the girl, weren't they? Um, possibly. Yeah. There's yeah. another girl early in the band. There were two girls in the band. Yeah. I think she played bass or whatever, but yeah. I'm no, that's good. Of- that was good stuff when that came out. Yes. Yeah, those records are great. Those, yeah. Uh, early ones. Rat mink or die and uh yeah. That's good stuff. Let's see. What happened to the he could only sit on his knees so long. I keep <laughs> yeah, telling man, him I'm to old. get a chair. He's I like sit I'm not gonna stand stand up here. I'm not gonna be up on up close. <laughs> she uh <laughs> she did she did die. Okay. Yeah, she was forty eight years old. She died like, um, August twenty twenty two. I was gonna say a couple years ago. Uh yeah. That's bad. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. All right. Well, man. they're still going though. That's good. Yeah, that's good for them, for yeah. sure. Those are probably two of the best albums from that time, from that mid '90s, huh? Yeah, they're so good. When everybody else was going on about the White Stripes and the Strokes, it's like, well, what about the Detroit Cobras? <laughs> exactly. yeah, go a little deeper into that. Yeah. Hey, let me let me tell you about. I have a. It's kind of an embarrassing uh, henchman story for me, though. When they, <laughs> when they, uh, when they came to Nashville, the henchmen, um, they agreed to hang out with us and let us interview them. And man, right in the middle of that interview, like I don't know what I don't know, man. I guess I, it's just because I'm a smartass when I don't need to be. I said something. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like I said a remark about the white stripes. And it didn't, it didn't even, it totally slipped my mind that Jack White was in that band and in the henchman, right? Wasn't he part of the henchman? Like when they first started, Jack White? The three piece with just the keyboard and the. Yeah, I think before, like. With the T, H E N T C H. Yeah, from Detroit. I don't know if he was in the band. He might have, like. I don't think he's on any of their recordings because there's only ever three of them. Yeah. Did he produce I, or something? Yeah, they probably knew him because he was from Detroit. Yeah, they were probably friends with him. And man, here I am making, we're making jokes about Jack White because I hated the White Stripes at that time. 
And I thought, and I told Brian, I was like, man, the henchmen, they'll never talk to us ever again because they'll <laughs> always remember. Um, but they were cool, man. We talked to them and they let us tape the whole show from Nashville. And there was like, it was awesome. There was like 10 people in the crowd. And I was like, man, Nashville doesn't deserve any garage bands ever to come here. Because <laughs> no, nobody except shows up. Ten, except for those 10 people. Yeah, those 10 people were awesome. When I was growing up, man, there'd be like four people at some punk new wave show. Some band yeah. would come down from Denver, and there'd be like yeah. four of us there on a Tuesday night. Yeah! <laughs> Whatever, man. We're getting paid. Let's just drink this beer. Okay. Exactly. I saw yeah. Mojo Nixon when he was in a band called Zebra 123. Nice. Yeah. And he was in this like blue polyester like leisure suit <laughs> you know remember the other guys are all dressed you know dirty jeans and a t-shirt yeah and it was mojo nixon man i remember but i mean we didn't know who he was then he wasn't mojo nixon yet but yeah zebra oh, man. one two three yeah man that sucks he passed away r.i.p mojo nixon yeah uh, well shoot it's surprising he made it that long that guy yeah hard, uh, that guy <laughs> hard living <laughs> yeah Hard living you, for sure. Did you ever see the Beat Farmers? I uh, know I heard that. I've heard the name, but I never saw them live. I have uh, a record. Man, she has a record. Country I Dick did. Montana. Yeah. That um, was a. I mean, he, he liked his sauce, man. Definitely <laughs> right. And uh, he would come out from behind the drums for a couple of songs. Yeah. And uh, um, sing. And when we saw him, he was standing right at the front of the stage. And a big cowboy hat on and like one of those long slicker jackets. Yeah. And he had a bottle of beer in each hand. And he's like flipping them like wow. six guns. And there were these two kind of, well, it was at a hard rock and roll metal club, but it was like a Wednesday night or whatever. So yeah. there were probably these two like metal chicks up front. But they didn't know who Country Dick Montana was. And he was, he was <laughs> right. these beer bottles around, just spraying them. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that is so they, great they run out this band sucks whatever and we're like yeah <laughs> and then at the end there was um i don't know there's probably 10 people there we're just hanging out and country dick comes out it's like thanks for showing up Baron. we're like oh shit man he's gonna throw this picture on us <laughs> throw the picture down stick around we're playing some more we're like good get back up there <laughs> i was like oh we're gonna get drenched oh man <laughs> comes waddling up with a couple of pictures <laughs> that's awesome yeah. that's awesome man you have to see you have to see the interview with uh man brian got to talk to hazel atkins oh i bet that was while. interesting yeah in louisville yeah it's like uh He's crazy, man. It's awesome. Yeah, he, uh, he got to see him live, and I think it was one of his last shows. Like he passed away in the nineties, I think, didn't he? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Greeno um, used to say because Greeno lives in West Virginia, and he said he'd see Hazel Atkins all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, and just, just like he'd show up and play just for like dinner and beer. Yeah, that rules. I uh, sent him. I sent him a message. Give me, give me all the beer I want. Me, all the time. <laughs> yeah. I sent Greeno a message. Punk Texas. I don't know if you remember him. Oh my goodness! Uh, wow. Gosh, I I like was searching my brain trying to think <laughs> of who else from a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, several people and those two didn't speak back, but. Uh, probably not earhead not six he said uh maybe maybe <laughs> that seems to be the people who actually did answer me uh were that was pretty much their response maybe but uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> i think sometimes people get a little a little more comfortable being out of the out of the screen <laughs> And that's I don't blame I, them. That's why I thank you for hanging yeah. out, man. Thanks. Oh no worries. Uh, yeah, um, Beetle, I'll get I'll get you set up. Just email me, and I'll I'll get you on the list. Nice. We'll see you later. Um, 
Yeah. I have no idea who that is, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll see you later. <laughs> he said he'll watch the rest later, which means we actually have to save this one. <laughs> yeah, we'll save it. We're, we're so bad about just doing these and then going, yeah, you just had to be there <laughs> and yeah. get rid of it. So <laughs> but then it, a lot of times it's music that we figure is yeah. probably going to get us a strike anyway. Uh, so if it's so, cool yeah. with you, we'll keep it. If yeah. it's cool. I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. Well, you've, you've been making videos quite a while then, if you remember Punk Texas, Jenny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's we've been, cool. we've been uh, like I said, I think my oldest video on my account says nine years, but I'm thinking it's probably closer, or it's getting on the 10 side of it anyway. Mm -hmm. It should be 10 soon. Um, and then I had that other channel before. Okay. And, you know, we mostly... We lurked a long time too, just watching other people. I think that's what most people do lurk for a real long time and then go, well, maybe I'll jump up and show something or yeah. contest or a topic that's interesting. And you're like, okay, I'll jump in, <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> so, yeah, we've been around a, we've been around a minute. Uh, but, but, yeah, no, save it. I want to research yeah, all the names. That shoot that. Yeah, I mean, there was a guy called um, just a Spud Boy, Spud Boy or something. I remember that name. Yeah, yeah. Octavio. No, I don't. I don't remember his real name, but I remember a Spud Boy. Yeah. Uh, he was doing a video once, and his shelves just behind him. I remember falling down. No. That's horrible. That happened to somebody here recently, too. Didn't it happen to Stunty? Yes, that's who it was. Yeah. And Stunty's shelves um, cratered. That stinks. <laughs> Do you, are you familiar with um, DJ Kit? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I just said hey to him to, like this morning, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. He used to always come on Friday night on um, when Randy was doing his um, live. Well, I guess live stream. He was streaming, and then you know people would. Randy did never have it so that people could come up. Right. You know he'd play music, and then people were just going. Um, yeah, Octavio. That's right. Yeah. Y'all have much up. better memories. Well, there was another group these, of folks then. Um, Doctor Dead Wax, and she was. Yeah. yeah, I remember Dr. Dead Wax. Yeah. All kinds of um I don't I just remember his name was Peter. He was in Sweden or something and he was big into country music, which is cool, you know, this Swedish, you know, someone from Scandinavia would be showing like Willie Nelson or like you know, older, even like just old time. Is that country. the I collect stuff? Or is that that's a younger boy? Yeah, no, this guy hasn't days. been around for a long time. Oh, okay. He was a big man. Oh, okay. Bald, big, big, big beard, but a big, he was a big man. <laughs> I think he actually was a teacher. Uh, gotcha. He had sung in a punk band and all kinds of stuff. There was characters all, yeah. I think, I think early on, um, I watched all kinds of channels just because they were talking about records. It didn't matter if it was jazz records or 78s or whatever. I would just watch them all. Yeah. Nathaniel, the first channel I remember seeing was a guy, his name's Chris. He had a record store up somewhere in um, Canada and his channel was called second spin. And he was one of these guys that would just be kneeling down on the floor in front of all these records and just showing radio. And the reason I, I, I came across him, he was showing um, the Gruesomes and Radio Birdman and the Saints. And I was like, oh, what's this? And that's the first guy I ever watched showing records. And then, of course, then whoever, you know, go out from there. But mm -hmm. Some guy's second spin. Yeah. Um, a record store. Dave may remember the name of the, who was that jazz dude that had the like they look like hardware store shelves. Do you remember his name? And then there was the guy who had Swissy, like a a 
a Swiss Army knife. That he would open up boxes with records in them and stuff. Um, I can't remember what his name was either. Um, but I think he that dude was British. And then eventually we bumped into uh, Rob from Boston. Oh, yes. Rob Rob, yeah. And uh, no. he said he would try to stop by today. It, he still makes videos, but uh, there were a few people that I just said, hey, come over. Because if some of the old, older folks who've fallen away come over, it would be cool, you know, if you were around here. And Trish and uh, Tink. And, and Tink said she might stop by too, but it is a little late. And uh, gosh, it just seems like once you see one record person, then there's the, all the people in the comments, you go, Hmm, go check out their channel. Too. <laughs> and then you slide into the big, massive pond of people. And the next thing you know, DJ Trish is sending you CDs and it's awesome. <laughs> I don't think there's even a clue of like how many people have shown records. No, don't there. No, there's probably in these groups. They all know those 15 and we know these 15. It's like, it's probably, yeah, exactly. it's endless. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's one thing about all the videos that are, um, um, is the VC dead or, um, the toxicity of the VC, all of those kind of videos. And, and I will say at one point I made a thumbnail for, is the VC toast. <laughs> but, but I think and then there you was just some... show yourself eating breakfast. And it, was, it was a picture of all, all different um, levels of burntness. But it was I... kind of a ranking video. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I made the thumbnail and I still have the thumbnail, but I never did the video because I thought, well, that's kind of a stupid thing to say because really there are so many branches of the VC that it, and it just grows and grows. And if you go beyond the 10 that you're always suggested or your own little bubble, there's so many more and younger kids and people who don't even have record players, but still buy the Taylor Swift records. And there's so many more people showing records. It's absolutely bonkers. But, um, uh, we do tend to get in our own little bubble. And when people start being buttholes, you think I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm oh. out of here. It's toast. Forget about it. <laughs> but it's not, it's still alive and well, it's just, there's a lot more of it. And you have to remind yourself of that. Well, and I think that that's then isn't that content and it's clickbait. If, if somebody, if, it's a way to like, I've got to compete. I'm in this big pond. And how am I going to get somebody to watch me? Well, I'm going to say it's toxic. And some of them are going to click them. Right. So then yeah. you get that number, whatever that, whatever that generator is. I don't know how that algorithm works. It's. it's yeah, a, I think there are lots of people that know if you put the word drama or toxicity or something like that in the. Uh, in the thumbnail or on the title, then automatically you're going to get clicks. It's kind of the same thing as the on the news. If it bleeds, it leads kind of thing. People yeah, want to see. A, yeah, it's a buzzword. People, people want to see carnage. Yeah. <laughs> and usually people it's, provide um, it. <laughs> how do you think that in the opposite? How do you think Madam Sin's videos ever get in the feed with the way he titles them? <laughs> exactly. I was like, I don't know what that means. I'm going to click on it. <laughs> I don't know, but I like his style. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but his, I mean, crazy. as far as like getting out there, he's like, I don't know what that title's going to do. You won't have a, won't have a clue it's going to be him spinning some cool old records now. Yeah. Right, right. And, you know, I think that's the thing, too, is if you're not worried about like we we had called it for a while empire building. If you're not empire building, then it's all good because, you know, that there's a certain group of people who know what you like. They they like garage music. They're going to they're going to find you if you show up or they'll try to if yeah. you're around. And uh, 
if if you're not worried about having uh, that sub count click up or you know rocket into outer space and you're suddenly famous if you're not worried about that or monetizing then it's actually pretty cool if it's just enough people where you can have a good chat have a really good discussion yeah and some so. common gr you know some common ground but also yeah. enough variety that you're going to learn about a new band like the ghastly ones okay mm -hmm. there you go perfect that's like you know someone said earlier on in the comments like i wanted to learn about new music heck mm -hmm. yeah we did you know and you could because people were showing it. right and i i mean i remember i remember the time when we were, <laughs> yeah people showed whatever they had and they were not locked into um beetles and and and, and um it seems that folks are really afraid to like step out. It's mm -hmm. like, just go for it, man. It doesn't matter. Show us what you got. Right. Uh, the, exactly. The things that, that get me is like 25 records you, you've got to have. Well, I don't want to have the same collection as everybody else. Right. right? Exactly. Was, that, that's another one. That, <laughs> it's like, uh, no, I don't want that record. I don't think I have any of those records. <laughs> the list is pretty similar all the time um i did see who was it robert fifth and did his he's like the, the 25 records you should have or 25 records you want it's like there you go it's, yeah. yeah it's easy to fall into like what i'm gonna do i need to get started i can see channel getting started mm -hmm. it's like ah uh, what do i do content let's just pull out 10 records or, or you know, what'd you get last week and, and go from there well, I'm, I'm so glad that when I go to like thrift stores or really any record store, the person who's hovering over me to see what I'm flipping through, which drives me bonkers to have somebody looking over my shoulder like that. There's a real good chance I don't want the same records they want. And thank goodness for that. <laughs> so what 20 records fit every single human? Right. I mean, is that even a possibility that tw the same 20 records are going to satisfy every person that's really kind of ridiculous <laughs> I would, and, and i would hope not i mean look how right. many records there are I mean, what a boring like, world if everybody liked the I, same 20 I records the back room of the store i work at and it's like holy shit look at all these records <laughs> yeah you know the stuff that comes in that they haven't looked at or it hasn't it's not the stuff they'll put out or they don't have room for it yet it's like what the heck is this somebody's gonna like that i mean mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's crazy and then yeah, you know, we, new stuff coming out on top. You know, we were talking top. about uh, the record store near us. We went to go um, pick up some some sale records that I had bought, and uh, <laughs> they had crate after crate after crate of Warrant Cherry Pie. If there's any record I would like to see burned, it'd probably be Warrant Cherry Pie. I'm sorry if you're a Warrant Cherry Pie fan. <laughs> I don't know. To me, that's completely combustible. It can go. <laughs> but, uh, they had so many copies and they'll sell them all. They'll sell them all. Uh, but it, ten it seems like whenever you get on their sales, it's the same records and they just sell them over and over and over again. How boring is that? But I love their dollar bin sales because all the things that people don't recognize go into the dollar sale because people don't grab them up as readily, which means I'm going to find something new that I've never seen before. Sorry, I'm messing and that's what I want is something new that I've never seen before. Or you're going to find something that wound up in there that they didn't know. they put yes. in there. I found a vibrators, pure mania, white label promo at some estate sales shop down here that was in with like, Jim Neighbors and John Denver records. And I was like, well, I'll wow. look through the records. There might be something in here. And I was just like, oh, I, I, I think I about passed out. You know, that was one of those where it's like, oh, what? You know, and I carefully pull it out. I'm like, oh, please be the right record. Yes. Oh. And in good shape. But it's like, if you don't look, you don't find it. I mean, all of us, every record collector has dug through garbage. You know? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lawrence Welk again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm willing to do it, Richie. Yeah, there I aren't very many dollars. Question bids. that statement right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've uh, we've got a garbage man 
who anytime somebody throws out records, he brings them to me. Man. Sometimes that's not good. No. He brought me he brought me a pile of records. We got home and he was like, what's that on the porch? It smelled like somebody had actually died on top of the records. <laughs> Stunk worse than pretty much anything I've ever smelled in my life. But she dug through every one of them. I looked through them. <laughs> I mean, Is that I, that little course, tin, that little box? Well, that was the next batch that he okay, brought. Yeah. Okay. But the the box that stunk so bad, he was like, do not leave that in your car. Do not. Don't bring it in the house. But I oh, took yeah, yeah. I took it, it looked through them, and then uh, I, those ended up going back to the dump. I have to admit that the majority of them either had water damage or some kind of gross crust on them. Even I draw the line. I mean... <laughs> Well, you can't get that smell out of them, you know. It was it was Ugh. wretched. I think is the word I should use. It was terrible, yeah, but I did look them. through them. I gave them a fighting chance. It was mostly stuff like Jim Neighbors, and even though I think Jim Neighbors is cool, n- no, no, bye. <laughs> Too stinky, even for me. At the. Uh, where at the st- the shop I work at, like there's a barber shop in the floor above it, and their pipes had bust. They had left a sink on, so all the water leaked through the roof and got into like about three crates of forty fives that oh, were there, man. and um, they had sat there long enough. It was like during COVID when I wasn't going in, right? Mm-hmm. And I went in, so they had been sitting there long enough, and it was like, oh god. <laughs> And the guy who runs the shop rock is, I'm just like, these are ruins, man. I, I, I'm not even looking through them. And he's like, oh, well, we need to keep them around so we can price them. So we know what to tell the insurance guy. And I'm like, well, can I put them downstairs or something? Because I, I can't work up here. <laughs> it was, and finally I was just like, ah, I'm putting them out back. I mean, it, it, you do what you want with them, but I can't work up here. <laughs> They had turned like green. It oh was, no, man. molded and everything. I and mean, I put gloves on. I was like, okay, what if in a mask? And I did find a couple, but I, you know, once I got an idea that was like, all right, nothing really worth a lot of money got ruined. I did find a Matt Curtis and a um, couple of good 45s in there, but um, <laughs> you know, they were stained up a bit, but they didn't really lose anything, but uh, it was terrible. I was like, I can't work up here because it's it's cramped this old attic place that i work in it's 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 a cave Some, sometimes it's okay to say goodbye yeah, yeah. well it's like there's eighty five thousand records up here you don't need these 200 right, right. Like pat boone records that there's like a whole white box of them over there yeah. nobody wants so i don't think they want this moldy one i think they put them out front in the for the free thing i don't know there you put, go. Put them out in the sun. Yeah, yeah. Now, when I did take those uh, barf records to the <laughs> to the and when I took the barf records to the dump, I set them beside the dump. So hopefully somebody else looked through them before they actually made it in. But yeah, I just couldn't go there. We were talking about biosite earlier. I don't think anybody's mentioned Pudsy, but Pudsy. our Pudsy. yeah. That's the he name. Back, so he did come back and make a video, but then he's been gone again. Yeah, he sure did. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, yeah. oh man, Pudsy's making videos again. And that was just that one. Yep. And we talked about Dr. Deadwax earlier, also. Yeah. Wonder what happened to these people. And then uh, Martin said that I seem normal. <laughs> Got you fooled. <laughs> Let's see. People look in bargains, Vinyl Dale, yes, or Rob Walker, hipsters I stay away from. Once I hear audiophile or rare pressing, I think they've lost what really matters, and that's the music. Well, I I do think it's cool when people find a a rare pressing or something like that, but honestly, I I don't know much about the pressings or anything in order to really even relate because I just get so excited if I find an artist that I like their music that 
I, I really don't know all this <laughs> stuff anyway. So when people say, oh, we got so-and-so pressing, I'm like, that's great. I have no idea, but also <laughs> I like the band though. <laughs> so I'll, I'll claim ignorance on that for the most part. I do think it's cool when it's something that's like uh, a really old something that there's so few pressings that it's, it's, you know, there's just not many around. I think it's pretty awesome if you're able to luck into it. Like I would love to find the 45 of my uncle's band. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, and there's a, there's a, I got it on a compilation and uh, I found one on Discogs, a 45 of his record, but it was like a hundred bucks. So that'll have to wait. Uh, That's cool though. Yeah. Yeah. That's they cool. sang That's alligator the one. The dynamic capers is who they were. But, uh, Someday I'll find it, but uh, or I'll just save up and spend a hundred bucks. But it'll be all right if I just have it on the compilation. That's just fine too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I doubt there was more than one pressing. Uh, I don't miss all the people who want to be personalities. Yeah, I, I count those as the yelling people. The hey, everybody, let me tell you about. All Come on over. Was it that? Yeah, the personalities drives me nuts. Just be a person. Just be a human. It makes me crazy when people have a shtick. Like a... <laughs> yeah. I'm not... I don't want to watch TV. I came over to YouTube because I didn't want to watch TV. So, yeah, I agree with you totally on that. Uh, you don't need a wardrobe. No. I mean, although I wouldn't mind if I had, like, a cool wardrobe. <laughs> there, <laughs> there was some dude who had, uh, like, almost a whole... Uh, mid-century modern lounge kind of thing and he had the costume and his, it was like it was like a produced TV show style kind of thing talking about records for a while I don't know if he's still on but mm, I don't care much about listening to him <laughs> because it's like watching a TV show and it's not like he's going to talk to anybody uh, if you want but who's that you, guy Dave would know the, the guy who does is it chromium dioxide? Chromium? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That guy who does that little but that that's a cool show. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 some extreme effort. Oh my goodness. Crazy stuff. And fun. And it's fun. And I he actually does talk to people in the chat and stuff too, or in the comments. So, you know, if you're actually being a person about it, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but his dude, that that show, that dude, that's a lot of work, man. Yeah, totally. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, just to make one episode or one video. Yeah. Like, wow. What the heck? I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> he quit for a while. And then I see that he's put some up recently. Um, I think okay. actually he, he used to go on um, uh, Greeno and, and George's uh, Man Cave of Doom when they had theirs. Oh, are they still doing that? Do they still no, do that? They quite some time. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Haven't seen. Oh no, Greeno. Last time he said he's. Oh, we got a new dog. We have a puppy. It's like having a kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, although I agree with you that does the music get you a CD or MP3? There's a lot to be said for having having something in your hands, though. And you can't fight the big pictures and stuff. <laughs> and, <laughs> I don't know, having the original source, that's that's awesome. But uh, I do agree with you in that if it's just about the music, any by any means necessary, I think is true. Um, which is why a lot of times when we need to purge records, if we already have something on CD or MP3, it makes it okay to let some go. Or we, we, we just pick which format we like the best and keep that one and let the others go. Uh, but yeah, I agree with you. Let's see. Ake Star, Two Turtle. I don't know those names. Those are new ones on me. Ake Star, Ake Star. Hmm. Uh, no, but I'm glad to see you, Will. It's good to have you here. And I saw you were in Knoxville recently and didn't even say hello. Fine then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hope you had a good time, though. And if it, I think I saw that you went to Wild Honey, which is awesome. That place is great. 
made a couple of videos in the last few years. That was Pudsy. He was talking okay. about Pudsy. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Music right. is to be played and not shrink wrapped. Now, I will say I totally don't get it when people don't open their records. That blows my mind a little bit, but each to his own. People have their different reasons. I don't understand investment collecting either because uh, I've sold a lot of records and I've never gotten the <laughs> same amount that I put into them ever. So maybe I'm doing it wrong, but they don't like lists. Uh, it makes me think of the list always make me think of um, like spin magazine where they had the uh, desert Island disc and everybody would give their list of their desert Island disc. Hmm. I mean, that's fun. Sometimes Dave is going wardrobe. It's going to cut into the vinyl budget. <laughs> <laughs> who, well, that's, that? who, who me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a I'm my wardrobe is no wardrobe and production is going to oh, cut yeah, into yeah, the vinyl yeah. budget. Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Grown man record night is yes. He's a worthwhile personality, yeah, yeah. Too. and he also talks to you. I mean, I think that's I think maybe that's the big thing is like people yeah, who are so much of a people. show that they like disassociate from other people or become a TV show where you can't speak to them. I think maybe that's the difference well, or when people don't let, let he's got them. people on and they're just sitting around talking to yeah. that's what's good about grown man record night is, you know, he's got one or two people there with him. Mm -hmm. so it doesn't really seem like it's just him. You know, it's, you're just like folks in the chat right now, just watching, sitting in, watching the conversation with us or, with, you know, that, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with you, Martin. Uh, channels that reply are better than channels that ignore everyone. Although I know some of the channels just get so big. I don't know how in the world they're going to say hey to everybody. Uh, Cause sometimes I, I run out of time and I think, Oh gosh, if did I forget to say hey to everybody who answered me or said something and, but it, it I'm filled with guilt if I don't. So. <laughs> but if I had thousands and thousands of subscribers, there's no way I could keep up. Uh, okay. <laughs> he misses the vinyl archivist. <laughs> Aw. Oh. Well, maybe he'll show up. <laughs> oh, wait. It's PB Thaw. <laughs> Lazarus. Yep. When he used to post all the time. I remember seeing him around all the time. Tell you who was great and has gone. Ethan Alexan. Al Alexanian. Nice kid. Hmm. I don't I think seen, I knew him. I haven't seen him. I don't know who that is. Mm -mm. Collector's going to collect. That's true. Yes, I do too. <laughs> I'll, I'll open up the record and go, that's the air from 1960. <laughs> 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 Smells like nicotine and <laughs> I don't know bad. what. <laughs> 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 But I do like that too. I like opening up a, a sealed album and releasing it. That's awesome. Oh. Be free. <laughs> okay. This <laughs> avatar. <laughs> this avatar. Y'all just stop. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's Richie with like a, a boob suit on. <laughs> Y'all are a mess. <laughs> Can't stop playing this. Hmm, I don't know that one. An in-depth vid. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think so too. But you know, I think I think sometimes um, I just want to listen to the record. I mean, I don't know that you necessarily have to to analyze anything. For me personally, it's just. Uh, if I know your taste and we like similar things or are looking for similar criteria, you tell me it's awesome. I'll go hunt it down and listen to it. And I think Garner's a prime example of that. <laughs> you, you, just gotta look in the, you just got to look in the dirty old 45s 
for whatever I'll send you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, there's lots of people in the VC that I trust their, um, uh, if you tell me what genre it is and that you love it, I'll probably go hunt it down and at least sample it enough to see what it's about because I trust you guys. I mean, that's the people I watch are the ones that I respect their opinions and respect their collections. And I know what they have and uh, that we look for similar things or have similar things in common. Uh, let's see. Avatar for the win there. Absolutely. <laughs> Hey, Groovy Lisa, what is up? Can you think of some people that have fallen by the wayside that you miss? Let's see. Then we got, I like doing top 10 because it annoys people. Well, <laughs> that sounds about right, Richie. Well, we're annoyed. <laughs> I'm annoyed already. <laughs> I'm annoyed at the mention of that. <laughs> that makes me think of my little sister saying, why are you mad? Are you mad? I'm annoyed because you said it would annoy me. <laughs> so I'm annoyed. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, some people have music comfort zone. I think everybody does. Somebody told me one time that the music you cling to is the stuff that you first chose yourself. And I think that's probably true. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm not the best at rolling through the chat, but I'm trying. Uh, the best thing to do is pick out things you're ignorant to and you will find gold. I agree with that. Might find a stinker or two, but. I'll show these for Dave. This is this is that other band I was telling you about that's um, related to the omens and down and outs. Heck yeah. Nice. Are those hard to get? Um, you know, these are discog. You can probably find these on discogs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, they get stuff about this garage stuff. It's not crazy expensive. The nineties stuff isn't. Yeah. That's my, that's not, my addiction. Like that, that, 60s uh, that I fell into <laughs> the sixties. I'm sure you're, you're dishing out some cash for that stuff. Yeah. They're not cheap. But what, I, what I've been doing lately is also rather than buying a bunch of stuff, it's like, okay, I'm not going to get 15 records. I'm going to get these two. Yeah. And and that's exactly. It. Or work my butt off at the store for credit and have them order a couple of them. There you mm -hmm. go. That's smart. You know, that, that works out great. So, heck yeah. Uh, that's when, the way to do it. When we go trade records, uh, whatever they give us, is our budget that's how much we can spend <laughs> oh, <laughs> records yeah. records for records and then it's like you know no harm no foul right <laughs> exactly. I'm just driven basically trading straight across yeah you know and getting something that you're gonna like all the stuff i've told you i purged in the last six or eight months it you know it was stuff that before i turned it in i, I listened to it like three times Mm -hmm. and it's like ah, it's not sticking yeah it's going and so See, that that back tires on me it's probably been spun more in six months than any of those records had been in the last five or ten years you know, it's yeah like, it's time for someone else to enjoy these so. that that most often backfires on me because if i listen to them i'll go oh wait i can't let go of that <laughs> well, then, then that, hey. that's, yeah, I, I have a lot of those when I'm pulling that stuff out and that's like, okay, I'm keeping this. Yeah. Put that, that way it's like, all right, I'm not ready to let this one go yet. Right. You, know? <laughs> you thought like, about well, it. should be a few yeah. more spins. <laughs> you just hadn't listened to it, it recently enough. And then right. you remember, and that's what's fun is like go through somewhere over there and be like, I haven't been in this chunk for a while. Yeah. And I get so latched into like, Seems like summer is like rockabilly for me. Just seems yeah. like, you know, barbecue in type of music or whatever. So I'll be like three months just in those bins back there, the rockabilly 45s. And then by the time winter comes around, it's like, man, this is all new. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I haven't listened to that for eight months or something. Yeah. <laughs> now, Patrick, I, I don't, I, I just have a flip phone. And uh, I'm too stubborn to upgrade to anything more. So uh, no phone backup for me. 
And I can tell you there's been several times that I thought, why do I know that name? Why do I know that name? Why do I know that name? Do I need to buy like a band? I'll look at it and think, if I just had a phone, but I don't. <laughs> so I have to rely on either memory or roll the dice. And I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love the thrill of a blind buy too. Uh, but, you know, with older music, I think the cover art, that holds out for you. I mean, I think usually you can figure out at least what it's about a little bit, which thank goodness for that. I think a lot of newer music, it seems like the cover art doesn't help you nearly as much as it used to. But yeah, I totally agree with you. The thrill or agony of a blind buy. There's nothing better. I miss Tim Allen too. Yes. Where is he? What is he up to? He drops off quite a bit. It seems like big chunks of time. There's Bo right there. Hey, Bo. There's your head six. Oh, yay. Hang on a second. I'll put you up here if you'd like. Let me put you. Hang on a minute. Let me figure it out. Hello, Bo. We were talking about you. I he bet your up. ears were burning. <laughs> there you go. Jump on up here if you want to. Let's see. I always think you must be sick of singing. I'm sick of hearing it. <laughs> I went I went to see uh, Flock of Seagulls. And when I did, I used to take my album covers with me, just the covers, so that they could sign those when I'd go see bands that I liked. Uh, and this was like well after I ran and all that. <laughs> um, so when I handed him my cover to sign, um, he wrote on there, I hope you still like this stuff. And I get it. He was promoting a new record and I didn't have the new record for him to sign that, uh, but I do still like the old stuff. So it's okay. But I kind of got the impression that that was a bit tiresome for him to sign the same records over and over. And, you know, I felt kind of bad about that, but not bad enough to not get him to sign it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is the, that one or at least I do like Flock of Seagulls and well more than the one song. But you know that one song is the one that's probably going to be giving him checks forever. So, you know, you can't fight that. <laughs> I don't want to get to the point where my records end up in storage. Yeah. Yeah. I, I realize I'm not going to be the Library of Congress. And I don't want to be because I think my house would fall down. But, but I want to have enough records to where I'm always having fun listening to them. Okay. Where's that person? Other channels I missed. The Vinyl Vault. The Vinyl Vault. Vinyl Vault was, uh, was that all the way back when, uh, with, I remember the um, intro to the Vinyl Vault, but. I can't, I'm not drawing the person's face to mine. Yeah. Captain Howdy mm -hmm. and Robert Z. Robert Z, I told to come over and hang out with us, but he has not come over. So I don't know what he's up to, but I do see him on Facebook all the time. He just has a hard time carving out time to make videos and things like that. Uh, Ooh, what's his name? Andy, the guy who did the comic book. Yes, I talked to Andy Borders also, and uh, he he said he's working. He's working tonight, so he couldn't come over. But yeah. uh, but I told him he should. <laughs> and I and think I, he, I think he's taken the leave on YouTube for sure. Yeah, I think he was kind of done with it. Uh, yeah, he's been. I haven't seen him for. I see time. him on Facebook. I see him on Facebook. Uh, but he's doing well, but just, yeah. uh, his, not on, uh, YouTube. no, uh, his youngin looks just like, I mean, they took a mold of him and just carbon copy. He's just smaller in my, in my opinion that he just looks carbon copy. There is no DNA test required for that kid <laughs> uh, <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh, Let's see here. Yes, Robert Z was always making it or is always making a new channel. Uh, he cracks me up uh, with the whole 
channel rotation and everything. <laughs> He'll be back again, I'm sure. Winter, the Pogues, summer, thrash. Nice. Mm -hmm. Farley, it's good to have you here. I'm glad you're here Hello, among Farley. us. Tell yes. And I threw a link up there somewhere. I think I did anyway. I'll try it again if you'd like, but you're welcome to come up as well. Yes, sir. That's who it is. And it's good to have you here. We were just talking about you and hockey cards. Uh, and you're welcome to come up. <laughs> Guitar player Paul Reynolds and Flock of Seagulls was awesome. And then Facebook is for old people. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I accept that. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I own it <laughs> I miss Vinyl Transmission Sexy Billy Hurst and Chris <laughs> Billy Hurst has his record store though. yeah um, have you been to his record store Mr. Hall of Fame I hollered at him told him to get his butt over here too but um they're all in different time zones. Man. Yeah, it's and hard. Garner's on different time zones, too. Yep. Robert Z used to have that Planet Z uh, intro at first. Or, I don't know, it may have been a little while into when I met him that he got that uh, snazzy intro. But it was, it was a cool intro for a minute. What's he got? What's Garner got? Uh-oh, he's got something else. Hang on. What's he got? It's I'm the only way to keep up with your relative. But Dave, it, this is some more just of that greasy rock and roll, like desperate rock and roll. Yeah. Loki dookie. I need that. Oh, Chris Hansen. Yeah. That it's looks together. awesome. There. I'll be and getting I'm that. Pretty sure you know about these. Yeah. I'll check it. Check it out. We've Hold got on. one of those. We got two of them. Yeah. And then there's one more. The third one's a little weak. These we have that one, right? Super good. Yeah. Uh, I know you guys yeah, played those one time. Yeah, we played them. On one of your streams, you just like played one, I think, one whole album one time, didn't you? Where Probably you so. No. We've got it on wax. Oh, here we go, right here. Check this out. Yeah, they have a different cup. Yep. I think that's like there might Part be one. more songs on that one. Some, some yeah, there's, there's, song. a, there's a ton of songs on this one. Yeah. Look at all that. That's a lot. I love it, though. Yeah, that, that, that'll wreck a house party right there. <laughs> Farley, sure Dave keeps up with Chris because they've been friends since high school. So, uh, yeah, he just talked to him today, I think. But he's doing well. Not been to Billy's store, but I have bought through him. Awesome. The youngest members of the VC have been there to the their store several times, I believe. Dots and loops. Doesn't post much, but I like his channel. There we go. <laughs> Richie. Stop it. What is that? <laughs> he misses pumping vinyl. Oh. Nobody say his name again or he'll show up. It's One like Beetlejuice. Juice. Now you bless go. him. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. There you go. At, At the, the party. party. Romping, stomping, last breaking tunes. Nice. Who put that out? Candy Records? Candy Records. Uh, is that... I is think that it was all the too? same company in Germany. Yeah. Candy, Flame... Lance, I think it was all the same guy. Can you? Are those? Uh, I wonder who who carries those. Is it just kind of like just different sites? Yeah, you'd have to just look on Discogs now. Yeah, these are the guy that was supposed. This kid Kurt that worked at Wax Tracks back then. Oh wow! He was ordering all this stuff. I mean, there Man. was. Four or five bins of just rockabilly comps. Holy there. crap! He probably had like all the Buffalo Bison Bop ones. All of, yeah, all of them. Yeah, it's like it's like two bins of just Bison Bop. Nice. Yeah, but that's 
this is super good. That's awesome. Let's see, there's there might be a chick. Yep, there you go. Scott Wood, Chicken Rock, right there. <laughs> there right <you> on. <laughs> there you go. We have to have that one. <laughs> <laughs> that, now you've done it, Garner. She's gonna. Yeah, get that. I was like, I it's know a chicken I have, song. <laughs> yeah, I know I have a. I know I have a chicken song. She probably hasn't heard. <laughs> Write that one down, Dan. <laughs> it's a whole, it's a whole zoo. There's wolf call, camel walk, just good to go. Uh, yeah, write that one down. All the, species <laughs> are, all the species are covered in this one, Jenny. Nice. Uh, yep. That's one we're getting. That one, I feel. Yep. That's totally happening. You get. It's worth it just for this Rex Garvin song, though. I'm trying to see what it is. Emulsified. Emulsified. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, nice. Miss Fancy sounds good. Rex <laughs> Garvin and the Mighty Cravers. <laughs> this is the type of album that I picked up. It's like, oh, yeah, look at that cover. This probably perked my interest. 16 Romp and Stomp and Lease Breakers. Nice. But then you start looking at, you know, it's very on PC, but rock about she's a fat girl. It's like, oh, this is trouble right here. They all <laughs> sing about that stuff back then. Hey, Miss Fancy. Yeah. That's the one Jenny said. She was like, hey, there's Hey, Miss Fancy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a killer. Yeah. That's one of those that whoever compiled this, you know, I always wonder was it, was this their collection? You know, oh, I was like, yeah. who has these records? This guy has these records. Mm -hmm. Gotta meet this guy from Candy Records. <laughs> have you ever have you heard of the the Madam Sin comps? Yeah, he um Richie has he one. Did the, um, we have a couple. We have two of them. Wavy gravy. Richie has the I was a teenage caveman. Oh, you got oh, it. There too. we go. That's awesome. Yeah, There's that's one Paul. on Discogs. That's Paul right there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Nice. He helped put this set list together. Nice. We've got this one. These right here. Yeah, Mellow Jello, um, Wavy Gravy. Yeah. There's another one. The wavy gravy ones I have on CD. Yeah. I have two of those. I have the adult party and then the regular, the first wavy gravy. Okay. That yeah. um, juveniles, Bo Diddley 45 I showed earlier. Yeah. It's the first song on wavy gravy. Nice. Yeah. Bo Diddley. That's, that's a great song. I don't. And, and we would have to clarify with Paul, Madam Sin. But this teenage caveman was probably, I think he worked with um, Tim Warren from Crypt Records, who did Back from the Grave. Oh, yeah, nice. I'm not, I, I can't be 100%, but I oh, know I need that. To, speaking, um, speaking of that, I need to show you something. <laughs> what's that? I need to show him something. But, Check these out. What's that? Oh, go ahead and show that first. Paul has this drum. He used to be able, used to be able to see it in his yeah. house. He got that, and um, Tim Warren gave him a copy of the Avengers. Uh, um, be a caveman, forty-five. Oh, right you know, on. That's that was his payment for <laughs> for doing this. Yeah, uh, man, check this out. I got. I've been getting these lately. Are those like lobby card type of things? No, Size? they're um, they're three color screen printed posters from the yeah yeah they've been doing these and they glow in the dark. Oh, those are man, those are cool. Yeah, man. There's a there's a guy on um, class. Yeah, there's a guy I've been talking to on Instagram called Sick Nick. Have you ever heard of him? No. Yeah, he's a a screen printer man, and he does like they talked to these, the artists that did back to the grave and they're doing limited runs of these. Okay. So I need to, man, 
we need to send you a link or something so you can get in on these because these are amazing. So it looks super well done, man. Yeah, you, it, they're all handmade. Right on. Yeah, dude, they're cool. Artist named Mort. I haven't heard of uh, I the. Is that the original art? Um, yeah, I think his I name's forget. Mort. I think it is because he's on Instagram as well, and they have all that. Right on. Uh, they've all been like talking and doing like different things. So I was like, man, I've got to show Garner that. So, man, thanks again for being here. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> he latches onto these screen. He's got a pretty decent screen printing uh, collection going. Yeah. He's latched onto these uh, printers or the artist. And uh, now I'm to yeah, and I see tubes come in the mail and I think, uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, here's another Dirty Donnie poster. Uh-oh. There goes yeah, your got, record allowance. I got this one. <laughs> the tiny ones are awesome. That's from an old, old card, isn't it? Yeah, from, um, have you heard of Jim Madison? No. Uh, the screen printer? Uh-uh. Yeah, he's an Isn't official. that like something from the 60s? Yeah, he's a licensed that... rat fink artist. Okay. So he has, um, he does all of the like official Ed Roth prints. Okay. Screen, hand screen printed. But that other guy, the sick Nick guy I was telling you about, man, he did these. Bob Wills. And he's been doing, he's been doing these. Like, he's right here. Looks a lot like that art chantry type of work, doesn't it? That, uh, was that a, the original artist or? Well, Art Chantry did all the Estrus um, covers, but that uh, style is very, really looks like something Art Chantry would have done. There you go. Seems kind of that awesome. low, low brow art. During yeah, it's all, it's all about that. Yeah. There you go. There's your mic back. Sorry, <laughs> I don't <laughs> need it. It's okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to take off. Um, it was good to see you guys. It's Man, good to see you too. It's good to see you, Garner. Uh, like I hope, I hope you're doing well, dude. That's, uh, that's so right. good. And I'll uh, maybe sometime uh, I can hook you up with Ryan. Oh, that'd from be awesome. Sweet, yeah. yeah, from Sweet Time Records, and maybe oh. you can interview him or something. Oh, that would yeah. Ask him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, he's he's cool. cool that'd man. be like a different thing. Talk yeah, to, I've always thought about if I could get a hold of some label guy or something. That would be awesome. Yeah, they they yeah. could. He could probably hook you up with some good garage records too. To uh, oh, okay. To review. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess so. You twist my arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, have a good night. Yeah. yeah. And everybody in the chat, take care. And yeah. We'll see ya. Well, I'll send, hopefully... you, I'll send you a couple of records I got here for you then. Oh, man. You're, <laughs> You're awesome. awesome. Thank we'll you so much. We'll send you some, too. We'll find some for you, too. We'll talk uh, on email. No worries. I'm, I'm sure they'll be going to the, to the right place. I always figure everybody always has everything already. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but then they can just pass it on. It's okay. There you go. Okay. That's good. <laughs> that well, works. Take, take care. Right. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good, you. good night. All right, now I'm up here all by myself. <laughs> there you go. Um, so I was trying to see if there's anybody. I think Bo was here, but he's gone. And I think a lot of people have already traveled on. You got 20 people in there. Do we now? Uh, yeah. So if there's anybody else, I just threw the link out. Looking for those old friends who haven't been around in a while. There you go. Thank you. But if that's everybody. Mr. I miss that Fred Dobbs guy. Anybody seen him? Seen hadn't Fred? seen him around in a long time. I haven't seen Fred. Oh, there's Richard. <laughs> Hold on, Richard. <laughs> Just stand down. <laughs> Just calm down, Richard. Let's get him up here just for a minute. All right. Just for a yeah. minute. Yeah. Come on up here. <laughs> oh. I said you went over to the dark side. <laughs> well, it's a fun place to be. When I thought you weren't letting me up, I thought you went over to the dark side of the people that don't like me. No, no. We all like you, Richard. <laughs> no, but 
the topic the topic today is people that we miss who do you miss who do you miss Does, is there anybody from the vc you haven't seen in a really long time no not that i miss no uh <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, then. <laughs> uh, yeah. How so. you doing? How you doing? We're doing good. <laughs> We're doing good. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we've been on here for a really long time, haven't we? He says yeah. two hours. <laughs> That's a you long time. Go to bed. You you usually in bed by now, aren't you? Yes, I'm usually yeah, usually early I'm getting, getting in that direction anyway. Yeah, I'm usually up till like five or six in the morning. Oh goodness sakes, I'm getting yeah. up at five or six in the morning. And then I usually sleep till three or four. Goodness sakes! Well, goodness gracious! You yeah, work the third shift, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's 1020, man. Let's wrap her up. Okay. Well, uh, there's Charlie. Charlie. Thought his house was smoky hey, because Charlie. of the screen. <laughs> you got to get that screen clean, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Your camera has gotten a little on the smudgy side. Yeah, I know. My camera's broke. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I screwed that. Right. I broke that thing like I broke that thing months ago. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you're doing well. Do you want to leave us with a final thought? And JB asked, what are you listening to lately? Uh, what am I listening to? I've, <laughs> how can I put the, sum, sum that up? And I listen to everything, despite what some people think. They think I just listen to Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. I listen to a lot of different music. You also listen to Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney. Yeah. <laughs> I like, I mean, I like Frank, I like heavy metal. I like Frank Sinatra. I like uh, Motown. I like country. I like all kinds of different stuff. So. People think I just like to artists don't know anything. Nothing wrong with Motown. Yeah, I love Motown. Yeah, Motown's awesome. Which favorite Motown act? Ah, uh, it's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have to say I, I probably my go to is probably Temptations. I love Temptations. Yeah. Temptations <laughs> are awesome. We played a bunch of Temptations the other day on stream. Do you listen yeah. to any records with square dancing calls? Square dancing? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, you listen to any records about chickens? Chicken? Yeah. yeah. Chickens. yeah about chickens. chickens? About chickens? Yeah, about chickens. Songs for or for about chickens? chickens? Yeah. No. <laughs> Dolan. Well, it's time to end it then. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna spend you some normal music then you listen to stuff nobody's even and never even heard of know what it is. Well that makes life exciting. <laughs> <laughs> no it, you need some parakeet training records. <laughs> need some uh, stones and you need some uh, Zeppelin and who and No Songs of Whales? You need to, you need you a good parakeet training record. Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. we need to send you one. What the I hell? Have, I want to send you a parakeet <laughs> training record. I have, I have mm -hmm. a record of, of people calling bingo numbers. Yeah, we could do. Oh just, my God. That, that's awesome. If it teaches the parrot to swear, now that would be interesting. <laughs> or say dirty stuff, that would be interesting. But it, why would I want to? One that could teach a parrot to play bingo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Right. No. <laughs> all right. We've, we've descended into silliness so it's time to go right. <laughs> y'all take it easy and i'm sure we'll see you either in other streams or tomorrow or something but thank you guys for hanging out y'all are awesome all right haters back off <laughs> all right we'll JB, see you later jb charlie yeah. groovy lisa fred everybody charlie Everybody, take care. Bye, y'all. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you for being here. Come back again sometime. Exactly. Now you got to find that end stream right up there. Okay, here's the button. Have and good, we're have out. A, have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Glad to see you, Earhead 6 Bo. Yeah. Come back again sometime. Show us some hockey cards. Yeah, definitely. Show yeah. us some hockey cards. It doesn't matter. We We're talk, just, we'd just be glad to see you. We can talk some hockey. We love it. Mm -hmm. So come on back. We'll see you guys.